What's up everyone, iShock here. So I was out and about during the Easter event, actually on my way to tame a sky blue rock elemental I saw while I was grabbing Deinonychus eggs, and I saw this Quetzal looking like a Eva 01 or the Joker, depending on your choice of entertainment. And I was on a snow owl and I had raw mutton, so I was pretty much obligated to tame it out of simplicity's sake. Now, if you don't know how easy it is to tame a Quetz with a snow owl, then you haven't seen my kind of crappy old video that this video will be an updated, better, faster version of. So don't bother watching it. The only thing you're gonna need to do this, other than your choice of tranquilizer and taming food, is four dino gates. Any kind should do. I've never seen the Quetzal attack it to escape. It just kind of panics and hovers. So wood, stone, metal, whatever. I usually make stone, because in my opinion it's easier to get thatch wood and stone than it is to grab fiber and have to sort berries and junk for wood. Even though it seems cheaper, I think stone's easier. Plus other dinos can't break stone. So, hit some rocks, hit some trees, build four gates. Make sure the Quetzal is over land and not over dangerous dinosaurs or anything else that may kill it or drown it. You have a lot of freedom to have it fall where you want, so take your time. Now fly from behind the Quetzal with your snow owl. They go straight like 95% of the time. They occasionally turn and then they continue straight again and less disturbed. So fly over its back and as you get over the head, perform the owl freeze. Now, two things can happen. First, you might miss. If you miss, you just perform the ice cube attack all the way to the ground and complete the smash. You won't get hurt, just fly back up and try again. Second, you're successful. You hit his back and he freezes and falls. You need to start flying again. When you hit its back, you'll enter the standing or walking state like you hit the ground, so don't fall in that because you will take damage. Start flying again as soon as you make impact with the Quetzal, then immediately dive bomb down and do the ground slam to apply the slow debuff. The Quetzal will hit the ground, walk for about 5 seconds, and then start to fly again. This is your time to drop the first gate in front of it and the next one behind. Then I throw one on each side to make a small square. You can place gates while mounted. This orientation has worked best for me recently. If you get it right, it'll just kind of hover in the middle. Just behind its beak and around its eye, the Quetzal has a headshot hitbox. Try and land your darts here to KO it more efficiently. Once it's down, you can throw up your spike wall, chuck some raw mutton, prime meat, regular meat, or exceptional kibble in it, as well as narcotics necessary for your taming rates versus its level. I always recommend checking the taming calculator at dododex.com to be properly prepared. Being one food short is the worst, don't regret it later. So that's it. These things can be used to carry dinos for duo farming, throw a platform saddle on it and carry some land dinos across dangerous places without cryopods, or to carry your sweet new rock golem you tamed from watching my other new video. You could build a ramp off this monster and use it to duo with your best friend and their rock elemental to soak up the turrets of your annoying neighbors. You can even build a mobile house or some hidden storage and leave it up in the sky to come back to it later. These are just a few ideas. Don't forget to leave some food in its inventory so it doesn't starve. Thanks again everyone. I know there's more I could talk about with Quetzals, but I want to keep these guides short. So if you appreciate the arc tips and tricks in the short video format, please subscribe, like, and check my other videos because there's always more to learn in arc. Thanks again everyone. Peace.